So, so here I am. I'm Sandra Bland. I'm driving along in my, it, 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 it's a warm day. I just got a new job, temporary, but a new job, and I'm moving back to my college town. Things are looking, looking up. Um, uh, a cop stops me for this minor traffic thing, and, and I'm immediately in danger because of the color of my skin and just because a cop stopped me. But, you know, it's, it's like multiplied, multiplied. He stopped me. That's dangerous. The color of my skin stopped me. I'm a woman. Stop me. It's, it's, it, it, I, it, 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 it's how scary. So anyway, I try to handle it very coolly. I, I, she told him that she, she knew he was just doing his job. You're just doing your job. I understand you're just doing your you are You're just doing your job. I understand you're just doing your job. I'm not going to give you any trouble. I'm not going to give you any trouble. I know you're just doing your job. You have a quota. I don't know what it is. I don't know. You're just doing your job. All Sandra said was you're just doing your job. I'm adding this other stuff. You're just doing your job. Just, it's, 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 you know, not to get, oh, keep, keep your pants on, you know, get, yeah. don't be, you know, don't be so uncool. For the top knot, I use I my head. My head. That's what I say. That's what I'll now. say for now. At the end, I found, I found the parsnip. So glad you always say, and I think of me too, me too. Season fire. Cheap wool. Cheap wool. Phony, Phony plates. But a real There you go. I saw him. I saw did him. You? Did you? That's why, That's why we, we don't. don't. And so. You know, so he he so the police person, uh, he asked Sandra to to put out her cigarette. She was smoking a cigarette. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to think, like, what, what was it like to be Sandra in this situation? You know, maybe she's thinking, he's bullying me. What do I do? What do I do? Um, and so she resisted him verbally. She thought she had to take a stand on this because she thought, he has no right to ask me to put out my cigarette in my own car. That's not legal. Um, and and, she, and but she's frightened. She's angry. And um, I, I, But apparently he does. Uh, he, he, he can tell me to get out of the car. He tells me to get out of the car, and I don't want to get out of the car. You know, I think he doesn't have a right to get me, ask me out of the car. I think I understand my rights. And when I saw these things, I realized, I, I, because I thought that too. I didn't think the cop had the right to ask her to get out of the car either. I, I, because you read these things, what are your rights? I don't know. I do, and uh, I, and probably she read them. I don't know. I'm just assuming. And but the cop tells her, get out of the car. I'm going to light you up. And. Um, if you don't get out of this car, I'm going to light you up. So Sandra gets out. And then he, he pushes her. He cuffs her. He hurts her. He pushes her. He throws her down on the ground. And, uh, and, 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 and she hurts her head.
I just had this memory. I was trying to think of when I've been in really scary situations. I've been in a few. And I remember one time being in a, such a scary situation. I, I felt my knees start to buckle. You know, the thing of knees buckle. My, my knees were shaking so much. I was so frightened. I didn't think my legs were going to hold me up anymore for, for a nano. But they did, and I got out. Um, Sandra didn't get out. And um, so she's, she's being manhandled by this cop. And um, he's pushed her on the ground. He's cuffed her. He's got his, his you know, that, that typical thing they do where he's, he's got his knee in her back. And um, she says he hurt her, but that doesn't, you know, mean much to him. And then a female cop comes, female police person, and she doesn't help Sandra. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't. And then it, 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 you know, so maybe I'm there, I'm Sandra, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, you know, they're going to take me to jail, these people. That's the next step here. And a jail, when you go to jail, they book you, they, they put you in a cell, they, um, they take your clothes, they, they fingerprint you, they, they um, and so Sandra does that. And, and the next day, um, the next day, the, when she goes up for a bail hearing, the judge says she needs this $5,000 to get out on bail. So that means she needs to get $500, and then I think she needs to, I, I, if, if I think, I think I understand how bail works, you need to have $4,500 collateral, something to, you know, you need 500 in clash, and, and, sh and she doesn't have it. And, and, and she's making phone calls to try to get it. She stayed in jail for three days before she died, and towards the end, she did get the $500. She was about to get out of jail. Um, she show fool, yeah, you, fool, you, it's a Thank <laughs> you. 